So, for today, um, it is the weekend, so two videos, two videos, like I promised. And, um, I was bringing you my second creative world, and I was planning on, um, going into survival mode after I get some stuff. See, I made some iron armor for myself, I got some horses, even made a fountain and a really big house. Doesn't have much in it yet. But this video, I came to show you a mini game that I am setting up. This is the setup that you'll see basically. Oh yeah, I was testing out to see if sundials can work in Minecraft because I, I recognized that there was shadows and I was gonna see if um, the shadows move with the sun. I don't think it does though, but that's okay. Um, here is the mini game. Um, doesn't look like much, but these chests require emeralds. And how to get emeralds? You get a minecart, a bow, and some arrows. And to start it off, uh, the minecart left without me. To start it off, you gotta shoot the buttons in the dispensers and they dispense out emeralds and as you go you gotta hit the buttons and try and get as many emeralds as possible and here's a get out of here my card here's a trick one right here you gotta press the button and then you gotta get ready again to shoot the buttons it is really hard to complete though and once you're done, if you miss some emeralds, you can go on the track and collect them right up. And I did not get five emeralds. So I'm just gonna grab the other three that I need just for the sake of the video or else I just keep trying because that's the type of person I am. Um, so once you get the five emeralds by going and doing that, it is very hard to complete. You gotta put one emerald in each chest. One emerald in each chest. And as you put the emeralds in the chest, the lights light up. And once you get all five, all five emeralds in the chest, actually, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you that if you're missing an emerald, this door is closed. And the thing of getting five emeralds is you have to have all of them lit up. And once you get all five emeralds, you see that this door opens up. And the signs, I hope you enjoyed this game. And for getting all the emeralds, here's a treat. There's a chest full of goods and valuable stuff, but now the redstone work. And there is comparators behind these blocks. I'm not gonna break it because I spent a lot of time on it. And these torches are turned off. And the thing about that is that when the comparators turn on, it turns these torches off, which turns all of this off but usually this is on without the comparators on so when this is on these torches this torch is off that is giving the signal up to the door and once you get all of them all of the signals off this one turns on signaling the door to open and there's your redstone work and i just got some comparators right here or not comparators, but repeaters. There's so much redstone stuff. Here, I'm actually gonna show you. We've got weighted pressure plates, trap chests, we got hoppers, comparators, blocks of redstone, sticky pistons, minecart with chest, minecart with furnace, hopper, TNT. You got all this cool stuff, daylight sensors. I can just go on and on. And Basically, I've been practicing with all this redstone work and stuff. So I've gotten pretty good at it, and in the future, I will 
be showcasing mini games that I've made and things like that, such as tutorials on redstone stuff like this, how comparators work, how repeaters work, clocks. Actually, I'll show a clock in this video just for the heck of it. There's two types of clocks. You could do one with a comparator and one with a repeater. These are the items you need. Redstone, redstone torch, and redstone repeater for the repeater one. You just gotta put all the repeaters touching, facing with these two little turned off looking torches facing the way that you put them down like so. Then you have to add redstone to all of them except for one. You put a redstone torch on this one, hold your redstone in hand, break the torch, and place the redstone down very quickly. And as you see, it goes around, and this is very useful if you're doing, say, um, you're trying to make a rapid fire dispenser, this is what you need. And it will do rapid fire, say put arrows in it, we'll shoot the arrows. And fireworks, yeah. In the new update, there is fireworks, which is really nice. Put some fireworks in, so why not? Some nice fireworks. And then there is a second type of um, ticking on and off thing just like that. And that is done with comparators, redstone, and redstone torches. All you need is one comparator, redstone here, redstone there, redstone there, and a redstone torch here. Um, subtraction mode, which means you just have to um, pull this right or use your left trigger LT if you have Xbox and pull that up and it starts to rapid fire and it uses the same process um, as the one I just showed you except a bit faster with the comparators it's a bit faster as you can see by the redstone right there and I think that does it for this video this was fiddle d2 make sure to like share this video and subscribe for more content just like this and check out my other channel that I do with my dad it's called dumb things TV look up that channel subscribe to it and that does it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.